Good afternoon, this is Matt from XO Pro Tech. Hopefully this stream is gone live by now. It could not have done. I could just be speaking to myself, but uh, anyway. Today I'm going to be taking you through the disassembly, the taking apart of a Dell D620 laptop. And the reason I'm going to be taking it apart today is because we have a problem with the headphone. Well, we've got a problem that's been caused by the headphone socket, the headphone jack. Um, it's basically it's it's damaged it's been damaged somewhere along the lines and because of the damage basically the um the sound won't play from the from the internal laptop speakers so what we're going to be doing today is basically just removing that jack uh that headphone jack from the laptop because the uh, the, the customer doesn't need it um and they won't pay for it uh, basically being soldered on so uh, yeah we're just going to remove that today on this stream Hell, why not? So, before any repair you make to a laptop or anything, uh, remove the source of electricity. So, we're going to take the battery out here. Voila. And yes, if you have your laptop plugged in before you work on it, uh, make sure you pull it out. Of course. So, uh, we've done that. Now then. What we need to do here is uh, is remove this bit here, this bit of plastic, and just get a flathead screwdriver or something like that, and lay your uh, keyboard as flat as you can. And hopefully this should just uh, pop straight out. I can't actually get my uh, this screen to be uh, flat currently because. My keyboard is uh, is at the back of it, so I'm going to cheat slightly. There we go. So this will basically now allow me to remove the keyboard via about three screws. Let's plunk that to one side. Uh, there's one there. I'm going to have to dodge my way around this microphone as well. It's in my way. And this now should just kind of lift up. Take that out of there. These are really kooky things. Ow, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. So that just lifts out there and pull that back there and we have access to it. It's been a long time since I've done one of those. This is quite an old laptop though. Um, but we're, uh, we've got quite a nice clean fan, which is, uh, which is a surprise. Um, now the area that we need to get to is on, is on this side. It's, it's literally just in that bit there. So, uh, we're going to have to uh, disassemble the rest of this anyway, uh, just to get to those little bits and pieces. Um, so we've got a few screws in here. I've managed to change screwdrivers halfway through. Let's go and take the, I think, this is just holding the CD-ROM drive down. Or in, should I say? Yep, 
need to remagnetize that screwdriver huh, and that one as well uh, let's give it a bit more help there we go Okay, so probably what we're going to do now is uh, I think that's all of the screws for this bit here. Let's take that out. There's one screw underneath there. should be everything that I need to remove for now. Uh, let's turn it around. And go for the other side. Let's take the RAM slot off. And basically, let's just go for any screw we can see. That's for the hard drive. Take the hard drive out. So just send two screws there, and you should just be able to slide your hard drive out. And you might as well just uh, just go around. And get rid of any screw that you uh, that you see. Take it all out. Uh, you generally can't go wrong as long as you keep a, an eye on where you're uh, where you've taken your screws from. But it looks like all of these screws are pretty much the same length, so there, there shouldn't be too much of an issue, even if you put the wrong ones back in. Oh, we're a bit out of focus there. A bit out the screen. And don't forget you've got a few uh, screws just down there where your hard drive came out of. Don't forget to get them. Otherwise you're going to end up with cracked uh, plastics. Wow. That screw's being a pain. I think the threading has gone on that, so let's just get a bit of help. It's the only problem when you're working on older laptops sometimes, you know, plastic has been there. So yeah, that screw is, is gone. I think basically the... Uh, plastic sort of underneath that potentially is gone again the same on that one unless it's designed like that I don't know can't say I've opened this one of these in a long time well let's just leave it there and we'll just have to rag it off <laughs> when we come around to it Okay, 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 let's... So, just make sure that you've uh, you've done it all. There are actually two, uh, two screws as well, just this part of the laptop on the side. Make sure you get them. Uh, 
I mean, these screws are generally for the screen. So, I mean, I'm not personally doing anything with the screen today, but uh, let's take them out anyway, just for the sake of it. And one final sort of visual check over that, just to make sure that I haven't left anything in. And then we should be able to pry uh, all this plastic off. I'm going to remove this person's uh, blue tack as well, just to make sure there's no screws underneath it. Yep. I think we are good there. So yeah, the uh, screws that are removed from there are now allows me to take out the uh, the screen. So uh, why not? Let's just take it out anyway. Just gives me a better area to work with and less to worry about. Okay, screen removed and plunked somewhere safely. Let's see if we can now remove the uh, the plastics. So, what you're going to need for this is something like a plectrum, and basically just work your way around, plunking it in in between the gaps in the plastic and what you should find is that these uh, this plastic can just uh, will just snap off so it's going to take a bit of effort to do especially because I've got a bit of you can get take out that PC CM I whatever the hell it is card there uh, we did have an obviously an issue with the plastics with the screws there Okay, they've got they've actually got retainer clips on them, that I can see from there. And before we go any further and snap everything off, let's just remove that screw there. For that fan, and then that will. Uh, <laughs> that should allow us to get into it. Okay. If you feel any resistance coming up, uh, you know, just double check. Make sure that you have actually removed all the screws. You know, there will be some resistance from the plastics, especially on these older laptops where the, la uh, the where the plastics are a lot thicker. Okay, let's take out the uh, CD-ROM drive as well. So basically that, that just sort of clips out there and hopefully that should allow us to take out the, uh, the CD drive, the CD tray. Says, uh, have we removed all the screws? Yes, we have. Okay, just give it a good hard tug on this bit of plastic here, and that uh, that DVD tray comes out. So yeah. Right, there we go. Make sure you get the, uh, the little cable as well out of for the for the battery, and that is our top done. So this is our culprit here. Let's see if we can get a can get you a better view. You can see that the shield around it is uh, is is pretty mad. It's bent, and you can 
which one is it? There we go. Yeah, you can see it's all broken off in there and generally just nasty. Uh, we might as well just take that straight off because <laughs> that is doing nothing at all. And yeah, wow. That's not the right part that you can see there. So yeah, that's uh, that's the the jack there. It is just it's absolutely mashed. It's uh, what I don't even know how you get it to that sort of state. But uh, you know what? Let's just I, I am literally just going to pull this out because well. Well, where do you start with these things? <laughs> okay, so I mean, basically, what we can do, uh, if you don't have the correct tools to do it, you could uh, you could de you could uh, you could just as long as you separate all of these metal bits out here, or you could waggle them off. Uh, you know just to get just to get them off and out of the way if you don't have the proper tools uh, if you do have the proper tools what you can do is take out the, the the motherboard and from there what you'll be able to do is is unsolder this uh, this jack and then that will uh, that that will stop the problem when you put it all back together again um, your internal speakers should be should be working again and everything should be fine but uh, you basically need to take this off because all of those bits of metal touching each other and uh, not going to the right place uh, that's what's causing the issue so yeah okay I'm gonna end the stream there uh, thank you very much for watching uh, my name is Matt from Excel Pro Tech and we will see you again on the next stream. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.